what's going on guys welcome to today's youtube video in today's video we are going to discuss the current state of xrp which might be ready for a huge move towards the upside in the upcoming weeks besides xrp we are also going to talk about a potential entry point for xrp alongside xrp we will also be updating bitcoin in which bitcoin is very very slow and very very choppy still but regardless we are still going to talk about it but first of all let's talk about xrp because i do think this is one of the most interesting charts on the daily time frame what we can see is that on the daily time frame we have seen a huge liquidity build up with these relative equal lows over here right so these relative equal lows were forming the constant bottom from the time period of april 2021 all the way towards april 2022 so this was the bottom for over a year for the xrp price well by being this bottom there was a lot of liquidity building up below those lows so we can also see that we were constantly forming these lower highs which means sell pressure was definitely there and what did the market makers do because there wasn't enough strength they pushed the price towards that liquidity pool that was building up below those lows. By pushing the price below those lows towards the liquidity pool, market makers got the opportunity to start accumulating XRP. And now we are looking at a beautiful accumulation range for XRP, right? Because a lot of people see sideways movement below previous lows like this as a sign of weakness. I see sideways movement below previous low where there was a lot of liquidity buildup as a sign of accumulation. Accumulation before a potential huge move towards the upside. The narrative is as well that the lawsuit is coming close to an end and that could help the price push up as well. But all of that should already be on the charts before the actual event occurs. Now, what can we see? We can see that we are trading in a beautiful range, right? With the range lows approximately over here and the range highs over here, right? So this daily candle close over here with this small wick is acting as a range high. How can I know? I know that because over here, we also close the daily candles exactly below. And what happens next is that we get a huge move towards the downside, towards our mid range. And this is where it gets interesting the mid range is being respected beautifully so if we extend this range a little bit to the left like this we can see that the mid range is being respected beautifully all the time beautiful taps of the mid range constant support and resistance beautiful to look at right over here strong reclaim of the mid range we retest the mid range over here and we send it towards the range high Get a little deviation above the range high and send it again to the mid range as long as the mid range holds expect another test of the range high which has been tested one two three four five times so the sixth time there is a decent possibility of getting a breakout towards the upside now we know that those breakouts after these huge accumulation ranges which is happening now for over a year on xrp are usually very very big these breakouts as soon as they occur they don't offer a huge retest and they usually just keep on pumping towards the upside so we want to try to be in a position before it actually occurs on the monthly time frame xrp is looking extremely clean as well if you ask me so we had a small monthly fair value gap over here which we tested so we put in a monthly low over here and now we are potentially going to form a bullish hammer candlestick tap into the monthly fair value gap tap into the monthly order block over here and the mid range and push it back up beautiful looking monthly candle right so definitely looking very very nice on the xrp price if you ask me i think that at least the buy side liquidity of this high is a good target around 65 cents and maybe we can even push the price towards this buy sell liquidity around 80 cents but obviously as soon as the win the lawsuit it could be a trigger for the entire market to start pumping it could be a good trigger for the entire market to have a huge pump all of this is already being explained on the charts if you ask me so now let's say we anticipate a potential bullish breakout that means that within the current area we want to look for a potential position on XRP with our invalidation being the mid range being lost. 
Okay, so what can we see? We can see that the XRP price pushed the price below this low, right? And started moving sideways. Once again, sideways movement within a liquidity pool is a sign of strength. And what happens after that sideways accumulation within that liquidity pool on strong support, we get a decent push towards the upside. Okay, now let's go on the four hourly time frame. And what can we see? The decent push towards the upside broke structure over here. So this was a drop off point. This moved towards the downside, and now we have broken that structure again. Afterwards, we started consolidating a little bit towards the downside, but our sell sell liquidity target is very, very clear, which is this low over here, right? And we always want to long where people are getting stopped out, and we want to short where people are getting stopped out. Now, in this case, this low and this low is where the stop losses of the longers are resting. Everyone that longs this move without confirmation, putting their stop here. Everyone that longed within this area over here is putting their stop over here. Besides this low, there's also a huge unfilled imbalance over here, right? So we have this imbalance. And if we take the EQ level of this hour four fair value gap, we can see that that hour four fair value gap did not get filled for 50% yet, which means it is still a valid fair value gap because we want to see those fair value gaps being filled at least 50%. On a daily time frame, we can also see that it is also a daily fair value gap, which is even more important. We are going to map this out as our daily fair value gap like this. Go back onto the four hourly time frame. Let's see if we can find some other confluences. We can also go from swing low to swing high, switch on our Fibonacci retracement. And what can we see? We can see that our golden Fibonacci ratio is aligning beautifully with our daily fair value gap, with our hour four fair value gap, and also with our previous resistance area over here. Beautiful entry point, if you ask me. Not only that, our gold of Fibonacci ratio is also aligning beautiful with this previous step over here, which could potentially set in play what retail traders call a head and shoulders pattern. I rather call this a three tap pattern, in which we have our first step over here, our deviation and second tap over here, and we can maybe put in our third tap over here before bumping it towards the upside. So, area of interest for longs is very clear within this daily fair value gap within that golden Fibonacci ratio, invalidation being this low that perfectly retested that mid range. Let's see what we get. Entry over here, top below the mid range. Second entry around the 0 0.786 where we have this order block on the four hourly time frame. That is also the start of our impulse. Let's say we enter it around the beginning of that order block. Same stop. Now let's See, our first target is the range high, which is already an RR of 5.43 from our first entry and an RR of 11.43 from our second entry. Let's say we target our buy side liquidity objectives. First one being an RR of 12 and an RR of 24 from our second entry. Second one is even crazier 20 of our first entry and 40 of our second entry. Huge RR trade. Definitely worth the risk if you ask me. Let's see if they play out. Now let's move over to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is trading with the lowest volume since 2020. Not only Bitcoin, the entire market. We can see with this screenshot over here that the volume has been decreasing massively and has now broken through the previous low in 2023. I think that was right before 2023 started, but the volume is insanely low. It is even lower than the peak at 2018, right? So volume is crazy low and it should tell you to be very, very careful going with leverage these days. Pick your battles. There will be better battles. There will be better trade setups. There will be better circumstances for you to enter your trades. Keep that in mind. Be patient and pick your battles. Now, Bitcoin is still looking quite interesting. Even though the volume is very low, that doesn't mean that there aren't trade opportunities. For example, in the meantime, my coffee machine, as every video, is going crazy in the background. But regardless, we are going to continue. What can we see? Bitcoin also built up this huge liquidity pool over here, right? 
So we had all of these lows building up, huge liquidity pool. Market makers push the price towards that liquidity pool, sideways accumulation. Not only sideways accumulation, potentially we are putting in a PO3 pattern. Accumulation, manipulation, and now we are waiting for the potential expansion part, right? This is looking quite interesting. This is beautiful. Accumulation or manipulation and potential expansion. Still not in play yet. We might still sweep this low over here where a lot of stop losses are resting. I wouldn't be surprised if we go below that low. I have already shared my swing long position on Bitcoin, on my Twitter, and also in a free Discord server. And I have some more orders lettered in below this low over here. But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't be surprised that if we reclaim that previous range low over here, that we are not going to send it straight towards the upside. Because usually these huge moves occur when nobody is expecting it. So let's say we reclaim it, we start consolidating, maybe sweep it, reclaim it. There's a decent possibility of a huge bump towards the upside. Do keep that in mind. But like I said, guys, volume will return back to the markets when no one knows, but it will return. It is up to you whether you want to be patient or whether you want to be impatient. Personally, I'm going to be very patient. As soon as I see a high time frame reversal structure occurring on the Bitcoin price, and when I see the volume returning to the market, that will be the time for me where I'm going to be engaging with brand new trades. Until then, patiently sitting in my swing long on Bitcoin, patiently sitting in my swing long on Ethereum, and patiently waiting for my DCA orders on those swing long positions to get hit. Ethereum looking quite similar to Bitcoin. XRP, on the other hand, looking quite interesting. Now, if you have any questions after watching this YouTube video, make sure to ask me in the comments down below, or you can always hit me up on Twitter, where I am also giving away three times a $15,000 trading account in collaboration with Funded Next. So definitely sure, make sure to check it out and to join the giveaway. Easy way to win $15,000 in which you can trade with it and you can keep the profits yourself. Also, make sure to join the free Discord. Link is in the description. Make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Would be very, very much appreciated. And I will see you guys on Monday's video. Ciao, ciao.